Hey guys, in my last video, I showed you about how you install the Tizen View on your Samsung TV. So, if you haven't watched that video yet, please watch that video first. Otherwise, you won't understand what is going on in this video. So, it's recommended that you must watch that video first. I will put uh, that video on my description box. Otherwise, you can find it on card icon. So, today in this video, I will tell you about how you update your Tizen View application. So last week and the update was came uh, it's the 2.0.2 and uh, in this video I will show you how you can update in step by step. So follow every single step otherwise you will uh, get lost. So please watch it this video very carefully. So before that I will tell you what's uh, new on this update. So this update fix the auto launches adds a new translation and it's improved installation instruction and overall makes Tizen View more stable than the previous version. But here is the catch is Tizen View cannot update automatically. So we will do it on manual basis. So to do that, you will need a PC or laptop. Uh, that's the thing I told you about my last video also. So it's mandatory to have a PC or laptop. Then you need to install Tizen View device manager. I will put all these um, uh, application link on my description box so that you won't get um, any problem okay and the main thing and the important thing was make sure your TV and the PC are connected in the same network otherwise it uh, won't get connected okay so it's better if you have a Wi-Fi then connected into the same network otherwise use the hotspot and connect both in same network second step was open your samsung tv app store so first thing uh, we need to enable the developer option so to do that use your remote and press one two three four five and it will automatically appear the developer option in the host pc ip on the downside here you can see uh, enter the pc's ipv4 address this is the uh, command you need to put on your command prompt on your pc and you will get your ipv4 address so copy that one and paste it on the host pc ip after that press ok it will appear the restart tv message so press the power button for two to three seconds and so it will get automatically registered Now come back to your PC. Here on the Tizen Brew device manager on the downside you will see the option the connect device. So here on the connected device you need to put the TV's IP address. To get the IPv4 address go to your TV settings then uh, go to general. Here you can see the network section and uh, in that network section go to the network status go to IP settings there you get your ipv4 address copy that ip address and put the same address on your samsung tizen preview manager now go to the app section and the tizen device manager look for the tizen brew next generation here in my case is the version of 2.0.1 so we need to update to 2.0.2 first we need to download the file i will put the uh, file link on my description box so that you will not get any problem first download it then uh, back to the device manager click install up now choose the downloaded file and press install And you will see the successful message and boom and your application got updated so sometime it won't directly affect the tv um, so you need to restart your tv one more time otherwise it won't show correctly 
ओके बिफोर ओपनिंग द टाइजन ब्यू एप्लीकेशन ऑन योर टी वी यू नीड टू डू ए सिंगल स्टेप अदरवाइज योर टाइजन ब्यू एप्लीकेशन वॉन्ट ओपन गो टू योर ऐप स्टोर ऑन योर सैमसंग टी वी एगेन ओपन द डेवलपर मोड गो टू द होस्ट पी सी आई पी देर यू पुट द आई पी एड्रेस वन ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड प्रेस ओके अगेन यू नीड टू रिस्टार्ट योर टी वी एंड दिस टाइम वेन यू ओपन द टाइज एंड ब्रू एप्लीकेशन इट विल गॉट अपडेटेड एंड यू विल इजीली ओपन इट विदाउट एनी इश्यू सो हाउ इज द वीडियो इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल देन प्लीज लीव ए कॉमेंट एंड प्रेस द लाइक बटन इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो सो सी यू एंड द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन बाय बाय